Okay, this is part four of the transmission rebuild for the 4L60E slash 700R4. Uh, I'm just going to go through fast motion here. I'm going to clean all the valves and the valve body with, uh, I'm using brake clean there. Just make sure you use something that doesn't leave a residue. Uh, that's very important. And this specifically said it does not. And I've used this before and it's it's been fine. So I'm just going to put the valve body in this pan here and just spray the crap out of it with brake clean you can see all the black how black all that fluid is and I should probably be wearing gloves but I didn't have any I didn't, I didn't feel like going to the store to get some so uh, it's best to wear gloves so yes spraying all the bores make sure all the gunk is out of there and look inside all the deep crevices <clears throat> there could be a lot of dirt and friction material uh, caked on in the deep crevices. So get it real good and do not try to dry anything with uh, paper towels. Use compressed air or let it air dry. This I'm just taking the rust off of this uh, steel uh, tail assembly. Now I'm going to remove the uh, uh, transmission rain sensor. This was already broken so I figured uh, it was rusted to the uh, to the shaft, so I figured, well, I might as well just bust it anyway. It's already broken. <coughs> just cleaning up the shaft, getting rid of some rust, putting the lever back on. Okay, now we're moving on to the pump. Um, I, uh, I, d I couldn't I didn't have snap rings to get inside those deep crevices so uh, I had to use a pick to pick out the snap ring we're gonna take out all the valves inside the pump this one has a little sleeve and uh, there are valve there's a valve inside of it And a spring. And another valve. Same deal, uh, just picking up the snap ring with my uh, pick there. Taking out the valve. And I think there's a spring behind that one. Yep, two springs. Okay, this one I had to hammer out a, a pin going through. Uh, the string, uh, the spring rather, is very has, is very strong. So uh, careful when you are working here, because it can go flying out. Let's put a rag or something over it so it doesn't do that. There we go. Okay, taking it, uh, taking out the filter. Looks new again because this has been rebuilt before. Uh, now we're going to clean the pump in the same way. Clean the valve body. Spray it very clean. Uh, okay. Now we got to. Everything we just took out, we're going to clean and put back in. So this, I'm compressing the spring, that really strong one I just took out. So I'm compressing it with a uh, wide punch. And I put the uh, pin in while I was doing it. Now I'm hammering that pin down. I'm just going to put all the other valves in and I uh, lubricate the bore and the valves with uh, you know transmission fluid assembly lube uh, don't use grease you should never use grease inside a transmission always use either transmission fluid or uh, assembly lube so here I'm just pouring it inside the bore and then uh, 
Putting the valves in. And uh, this was a kind of a pain because again I didn't have snap rings that could get inside that deep. So I, j I sort of had to... Uh, oh, there's a spring. Uh, I had to... Oh, there's another valve. <laughs> Forget what you do. This is what I was talking about. After all the valves and stuff are in, uh, the, my snap ring pliers couldn't get in there, so I had to sort of push it down with a screwdriver and use a pick to compress it. And it was kind of a pain because the thing was rolling, but uh, it eventually went in there. So now I'm lubricating the other bore, putting the other valves back in that just took out. Putting the little end cap on and the snap ring. Snap ring, I'm going to do the same thing. First, I'm going to use my snapping pliers just to get it in there because it doesn't, can't go as deep. And then I'm going to use a socket to hammer it down so it goes down evenly until it snaps into the groove. And this actually worked really well. Putting the filter in. And uh, we're done with the pump. Okay, now onto the valve body. Uh, just lubricating the valve body. Again, you want to lubricate the bores and all that jazz and make sh so, just so all the valves go in easily. And uh, I'm just going to speed through this here. I mean, it's uh, pretty much the reverse of the removal you saw in my last video. Uh, but I didn't want to make this video too long, so I'm just going to speed through putting all the valves back in. There's a lot of them. Some of them you have to uh, hammer the pin in. Let's go one by round, one by one around the whole valve body and uh, just Every time I looked, every time I was going to insert a valve, uh, always refer to the service manual. There's the manual valve. Always refer to the service manual to make sure you're putting the valve in the correct direction. You don't want to put a valve in backwards because uh, it will screw everything up. So be really meticulous. The name of the game when working with the transmission is to be meticulous. Always check back with the service manual. This I'm just showing you, I'm putting it back. This is the best way. Put everything in the sleeve first and then put the whole sleeve in the valve body. Okay, almost done here with all the valves. Okay, now we're on to the, uh, there's a nut. This is like a castle nut. We are on to uh, the case components. This is the parking paw retainer. I'm take I'm unbolting right now. And uh take the retainer out. Once you remove that nut I mentioned earlier, you're you can uh then remove this this little metal clip. Yeah, you can hear it. And then from there you could just pull out the shaft and it might be kind of annoying to get out and uh, then all that whole assembly will come out. This is me cleaning the case because I'm going to paint it, make it look nice. Just uh... Alright guys, thanks for watching. Proceed to part 5.